Hi guys, Sleeve Franklin. So I am in the beautiful town city. I don't know, there's not a lot here <laughs> of Waco, Texas. <laughs> um, it's it's gorgeous though. Like I, it's so weird because it seems like Washington. Like everything is like the city is set up just like Washington sets up their cities. Even the Walmart is like identical and I'm not a Walmart person, but uh, I finally went there tonight so I could get some stuff for my nails. So, um, and some tea and stuff because honestly, I'm not about to go back down to the hotel lobby and spend any more money there right now. Maybe later this week or maybe tomorrow night I'll go have a drink or something, but spent way too much time in that lobby lately like because I've been making phone calls like get a drink and go out because I have this really awesome bamboo area out in the back but it's really expensive so anyways so um yeah I'm down here training and that's really exciting and really like hectic and scary and seriously like it's like going to college again <laughs> Like, it is so much learning, and I, my brain is just like, and I'm only like three days in, so it's like, whoa. Um, it's really exciting, though. I mean, I'm really excited for it all, but there's so much to learn, and it's just, it's so scary, because once we're done learning, we come home and, like, take off, <laughs> you know? Like, you just do everything, and it's... It's nerve-wracking and scary and, uh, yeah. Um, my topic this week uh, is going to be self-confidence. Or my topic of this video is going to be self-confidence. And um, my issues with it. But first I'll give you my stats and then I'll talk about self-confidence. Um, started right around uh, May 1st, 2012. At about 280 pounds. And my surgery date was June 14th. I weigh 254 pounds. Today I'm sitting at about 125 pounds. I'm really happy. Um, my lowest was 120, but 125 is good for me. Um, someday I might see it again. I might not see it again. I don't care. Five pounds is not going to kill me. And honestly, I feel better at 125 than I did at 120. I have pictures of myself that I don't like at 120. So, anyways, those are my stats. Um, I had uh, the uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, um, June 14th, 2012. I am exactly 160 pounds down, or I was. I'm 155 pounds down from my highest. Um, and I feel great. Everything's been awesome. Um, I was a drop foot weight loss surgery patient, which there's a lot of them out there. Um, pretty much I'm cured of the drop foot. I still have issues with it every once in a while. It'll like kind of just like bug me but other than that I like don't have any of the symptoms anymore but every once in a while when my leg gets tired or something like extreme exhaustion then um, I'll see like a little bit um, other than that I've had a pretty awesome 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 journey um, yeah oh uh, one thing that I haven't told you guys, which I probably should have like months ago, I don't know. Um, once I lost all the weight, my body like kicked into overdrive and my ovaries kicked into overdrive. And now the reason why I've been having all these issues and these womanly issues that I was worried about last year, I finally went to the doctor and I uh, found out that my body is like constantly ov ovulating now. Like it's time to have kids or something. <laughs> I'm done having kids. <laughs> I don't need that anymore. Um, and so we've come to the determination, or my doctor and I have come to the determination that I need to have a hysterectomy. So, but that was supposed to happen in like March, but then all of this stuff happened and, uh, it's kind of prolonged. So whenever things slow down <laughs> and I can like take time, uh, I'm going to have to go have that done. Um, because my body is just like overloaded with like when you're when you're really big you don't ovulate at all there's there's people that don't ovulate at all and they have a really hard time getting pregnant and there's all these problems that come along with it and now and I never really had that issue I mean I had a hard time getting pregnant but I would have a hard time keeping the baby and um, well now 
my body is just going overboard and doing all these horrible symptoms and horrible things and just making me in pain like every single day of the year. Um, so it's time to just take it out. So we're going to leave the ovaries, take out the uterus, be done. <laughs> so, and I can't wait. <laughs> take it. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so that's something that, yes, I am dealing with. And does it kind of pertain to the weight loss surgery? I do believe it does. Because honestly, if I didn't have the weight loss surgery, my body wouldn't have kicked in overdrive. Who knows? Maybe if I hadn't been a fat ass in the first place, maybe I would have never had the issue. Who knows? I don't. But either way. It's here now, and it's going to have to happen someday. Okay, confidence. I'm noticing, like, not being at home, not being in my my little bubble of my world, my confidence level is still lacking. Um, I'm a lot more confident with my looks and a lot more confident around people. But deep down, a lot of the issues that I've always had are still coming out. I'm worrying about everything. I'm worrying about expressions that people make. I'm worrying about what people are thinking. I'm worrying about, I mean, like, it's almost like my brain is going through like a bipolar, like, you know, is this person mad at me? Is everything okay? Am I annoying someone? I don't understand. These people are not, you know, reacting in the way that I would think they would. Oh, I did a really good job, but maybe they're just treating me like that because I'm a girl. I actually plain out this morning, asked the instructor, like, he said I did a really good job on the glass cutting. Like, did I do a good job for a girl or did I actually do a good job? I actually like pulled him aside and asked him that. And he's like, the fact that you're a female has nothing to do with whether I say you have a good job or not or you do a good job or not. And I'm like, I felt so embarrassed. I was just like, well, they don't get a lot of girls doing this. So maybe these just, you know, cause he seemed to be taking it easy on me the day before. So this morning when he was like, hey, you really got it down. You're doing good. I was like, are you saying that? <laughs> or like what? <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, and then like this afternoon, I thought that the instructor was kind of like, we had a bunch of things going on at the, the other business. And so we were getting emails in and we were very distracted this afternoon and like it's really hard to pay attention, but we were still paying attention, but I felt that the instructor was kind of getting irritated because um, you really shouldn't take phone calls and you really shouldn't do any, not really take phone calls, but like take emails and send stuff back while you're trying to pay attention to videos and, and pretty much school. Like what happens when a, if you like interrupt a teacher with a phone in school, what happens to you? You're in big trouble. Um, but I just worry about everything. Like my confidence level isn't there at times. and. I think it 100% leads back to when I was overweight, because um, I, I don't, I don't feel like I'm worthy. I don't know why I'm even here right now. Like, what makes me special to be able to sit in this hotel right now? What makes me special to get to go to the school? What makes me special to be an owner of this company. I mean, this is like a huge opportunity. But what makes me special? Well, apparently, I wouldn't be here unless I did something to deserve it, right? But in my head, I can't, like, click that. I, it just doesn't, something doesn't click. Because um, it's just like, I'm not worthy of anything. Um, and I know I'm worthy. I'm worth it. And whether anyone else thinks I am or not, I am. Because I am. Because <laughs> I'm freaking awesome. Ask anyone in that hotel lobby because someone accidentally said something about weight loss surgery and I was like, yeah. <laughs> so everybody down there last night got like the, hey, look at this. <laughs> I'm freaking awesome. But uh, sometimes I just don't know. So um, I don't know really what I'm trying to say with this. I, I think what I'm trying to say is I'm, I've come a long ways and everybody's like, oh, good job and, and it's amazing and this and that and yeah, I've come a long ways, but I have a hell of a long way to go. I mean, my damage that I did to myself for all those years, it's not gone. It's not going to be gone and, and you're, you can't expect it to be gone overnight. Um, you just have to understand that you've got to keep working at it. Just because you get here doesn't mean you get to stop. You don't get to start eating the bad crap again. You don't get to stop exercising. 
you know, life doesn't just go back to like the way you were, you know, and if you want to change your brain, you want to change the way that you feel about things, the, your perception on things, and you got to do it yourself. Um, and I'm constantly in a state of change, constantly, um, always looking for better ways to, to learn and, and change who I am, at least the parts I don't like. So, um, I guess my point of the story is if you want change, you got to make it happen and you just, you got to understand that change will never be over. You've got to keep making it happen because there's always something you can do to better yourself, I guess, is the moral of my story tonight. Um, I have seen all of your comments lately and I am so thankful and I thank all of you for watching me. Um, I love you, love you, love you, love you. Um, really, really excited for all of you who are having surgery and for everyone who's interested. And even if you're just popping on just because you just don't know, you're just kind of researching. Good. Make it happen. That's all I can say It's make it happen. Um, I'm going to put some pictures on the end of this as long as my computer will let me because I'm kind of tired tonight. But as long as it'll let me in, I'll upload it. And, uh, yeah, I love you guys. Uh, if you want to find me, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Sleep Franklin. Uh, you can always pop something below. Um, I do not answer messages on the YouTube um, channel. I will um, answer messages on Facebook. Um, so, and if I didn't answer any of your questions on Facebook, if you asked them before you were my friend on Facebook, I didn't see them and I'm not able to see them. So you've got to ask me again <laughs> because I, I don't know that you've sent me a message. So anyways, love you guys. See ya from Texas. <laughs> Bye.